Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so today is exciting. I got sent this PR. This PR is from Luxador Nice Perfume Company. So it came beautifully packaged and they sent it out from Switzerland. Um, so this company sells different niche perfume. It's based in Switzerland, UAE, Azerbaijan, Russia, Kazakhstan, and Ukraine. Um, so I'm really excited. They sent me an email asking me what type of perfume I want to try. I gave her 10 perfume that I would like to try. So not only I picked some perfume that I think I'd like, but also picked up some male perfume. So yeah, I'm gonna open the packaging and um, try this out for myself. So this is first impression, by the way. I haven't opened it up yet. Okay guys, so this is the perfume, Luxador Niche Perfume. It's beautifully packaged, so I'm gonna open this up and see what's in here. Okay, so it comes in this cute box. I know that they're sending me 10 samples. Oh my gosh. There are 10 samples perfume in there, so yeah, I look forward to trying them out. So I've been super curious um, of all of this perfume that I'm selecting today. Okay, let's go through one by one. The first one is Montal Vanilla Absolute. I love this one. I've always been curious, so I was told that uh, Montal Vanilla Absolute smells in the same family as my favorite perfumes, Saint Barth Vanille West Indies. I think I agree with that. There is a little bit of a, a depth, like a Middle Eastern style for Montal Vanille Absolute. A little bit of a woodiness. So this is definitely a keeper. I really, really like it. Um, one thing though I noticed when I put this on, it is pretty strong. I really like it. So the next one is Pegasus. I've always been curious of Pegasus. I have friends, she's big on Pegasus. Okay, so this is not my vibe. I could see why some people like it. It's just that the scent is not for me. I could smell the almondness, some powderiness, a little bit of a woodiness. Like I could definitely smell sandalwood. Um, it is more for men. I mean, I could see myself wearing this if I want to be um, more masculine, like more femme fatale. I could see that. This one has that sexiness vibe. It's just that it's not my everyday sin. But so far, I really, really like this um, company. Okay, so third one is, this is from Louis Vuitton. A Trapper Reeves. This is good. It's pretty spot on with the original. It smells so feminine. This is Fruity Floral. I really like it. Next is Surge of Mephisto. I'm super curious about this one. I really like this one. This is a citrus. This is a citrus bomb. I love this one, you guys. Okay, um, this one makes me smile. This one's very unique. This is different than a lot of the perfume that I own. This is a good summer freshie. It smells like a burst of lemon with underlying powderiness. I really like this one. Usually, I um, I like freshy, some lemon, but usually it's accompanied with some woodiness in the background. And I so far I haven't detected any woodiness, nothing that stood out to me. This is more like citrus with powderiness. I really like this one. Yeah, this one makes me smile. Okay, so far I've been enjoying perfume that I picked. Okay, so next is Dior Home Intense. I have been super curious of Dior Home Intense. A lot of ladies in this community has been talking about Dior Home Intense. Um, 
I um, I really like it. I think this is a very sexy male scent, but it also works for me. Yeah, I can smell citrusy underneath. There's a leather and then um, powderiness, maybe a little bit of tonka. I really, really, really like this. This is definitely a unisex scent. Um, next, I'm gonna try. Okay, <laughs> this is this is a good this is good company. Okay, so next, I'm gonna try Chanel Coromandel. Okay, I love this one too, guys. Okay. I really, really like this company. Okay, I love Chanel Coromandel. This reminds me a little bit of a... There's a bubbly champagne smell. Um, as powderiness, or Chanel is like. There's some citrus on the top. I just love how it smells like. Yeah, Chanel Coromandel. I really, really like it. Okay, so next is Killian Love Don't Be Shy. So, um, recently I have been obsessed with wearing my Killian Love. In fact, I put a lot of dent on male Killian. So I figured I wanted to try the uh, perfume oil for Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I could bring this with me in my purse. Okay, so I do smell difference between Killian Love Don't Be Shy original and the perfume oil. I like them both. I feel like this one is, has less sillage, but it has a stronger projection scent bubble. This is definitely intimate. I can smell the marshmallow, um, orange blossom as well, but it's not as bright as the real Killian Love Don't Be Shy. I still like it. Um, I really like this company, by the way. Um, all right, so next is Crete. Silver Mountain Water. I also really like this one, you guys. Um, it has that Crete mojito-like. Uh, it has that like gin and tonic type of smell. It has that fresh watery smell, but it's not blue because I, I don't really like a blue scent, but I really, really like this one as well. Okay, so next, um, Egoist Platinum. This is from Chanel. This is a man cologne. Okay, this is very blue. Reminds me a little bit of a Dior Sauvage type of scent. Okay. I guess I could put it right here. Okay, so, so this one's definitely for dudes. Oh, I actually really like it too. But this is for dudes. Yeah. Okay. Definitely dude. I smell your Savage DNA. Okay, last but not least, this is from Paco Raban 1 million. And this is for men. I used to um, went to the mall when I first started in this perfume journey and I would smell the whole store and I wanted 1 million for myself. So I'm curious. Um, if I would still like it and this happens to be offered to me so I was like okay yeah why not I want to try it out I still like it this one smells like cinnamon vanilla a little bit powderiness there's some men cologne DNA in the background but I do like it so okay um, let me rank this let me rank this this is getting hard let me rank this. All right, so the first place, uh, my favorite perfume from this batch that was sent to me, and I need to have a full bottle of this, is Chanel Coromandel. I really, really like this scent. It smells like, um, in the same category as Sana Jardin, Tiger by Her Side. It has that like fruity floral with a little bit of patchouli, but in a really, really, really good form. The patchouli could be a little bit much sometimes, but in this version, in this perfume oils version, it is very subdued. It's just a um, powderiness, floral 
a little bit of green with a little bit of patchouli. I really, really like it. Um, I know I'm not a big patchouli fan, but I really, 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 really like it. So the second one goes to Killian Love Don't Be Shy. As you know, I love the scent. Um, in this perfume oil form, the marshmallow and vanilla is more predominant than the orange blossom. So this is less of a sillage perfume, but it's more projecting. It's more intimate. I really, really like it. So the third one goes to Montal Vanilla Absolute. And I think this is very similar to St. Barth Vanilla West Indies. Pretty similar in the same category as Masolari Vaniglia. Number four goes to... I really, really like this. This is Sergio Mephisto. This is a straight up citrus. It reminds me a little bit of a Atelier Cologne, like Clementine. But, so the Clementine, it dries down to this not so great um, woody scent. Like, I am very sensitive to those woody scents. But for me, this one, it dies down to a powderiness. And I like this powderiness. And this powderiness is very subdued. It's just a little bit powderiness. I really, 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 really like it. So Sergio Mafisto definitely is in my radar now. Number six, I like Silver Mountain Water from Creed. This one smells a, um, yeah, it smells like mojito. It, it smells like mojito with a little bit of blue. It smells fresh, um, a little bit of like a gin tonic type of scent, a little bit of a Man Cologne blueish. I, I really, really like it. So number seven is Dior Home Intense. This one has a little bit citrusy. Um, to me, it has citrus on the top and then leather in the bottom and some powderiness. I really like it. I think this is really good unisex scent. I definitely really like it. Number eight is Paco Rabanne One Million. It has cinnamon. It has vanilla, a little bit of a woodiness. I really like it. Paco Rabanne One Million. Okay, number nine. I also really like this one. It's Pegasus. So, so this is in the same family as Psychedelic Love. The sandalwood here is pretty strong. It has that woodiness, it has that leather, suede a little bit. It has that almond, it has some nuts in it. This is a big, nutty perfume. And number 10, this is my least favorite because this has Dior Sauvage. So this is definitely for men cologne. Egoist Platinum. When I looked at the note, I thought this is going to be more powdery, more, more aldehydic. I thought it's going to be cleaner, like laundry detergent scent, but no, I was wrong. This one has a Dior Sauvage vibe in it, so definitely a man cologne blue vibe. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really, 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 really like this company, Luxador Nice Perfume Oil. Um, but you have to like the... Um, the uh, roll-on though. So this is a roll-on perfume. So far, I really, really like it. I think it's worth it. Um, I'm so happy that they gave me opportunity to collab with them. I highly recommend this. And yeah, you'll be seeing me wearing this up more often and you'll see this featured in my video more often, especially when I do travel. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.